It's Thursday, July 23rd, 2015, but in Destiny, I call it Thursday Zursday. I haven't made a Destiny reference on Netlinked in a while. It was long overdue. I'm sorry. In GPU news, a Korean blog has posted photos of AMD's next big thing, the Radeon R9 Nano. I guess it should be called AMD's next small thing because it's so tiny and compact. Anyways, the card looks exactly like the renders that we've seen over the last two months. No big changes. For those of you who forget the specs, the R9 Nano is based on the Fiji platform with 4096 stream processors, 256 texture units, 64 ROPs, and 4096 bit memory interface. The card also features 4 gigs of HPM, and the TDP for the R9 Nano is 175 watts with a single 8 pin PCIe connector. No word on pricing as of right now, but the R9 Nano should hit stores sometime next month. Although there is that shortage for HPM, so who knows when that actual will be. What do you guys think? Based on recent performance numbers of the Fury X, will you buy the Nano? Were you going to get it anyways based purely on its size? Leave a comment down below. Twitch on their blog today have announced that they're starting to use HTML5. That's right, the live streaming giant is starting to move away from Flash-based players. One might remember that YouTube did the same thing dropping Flash for HTML5 back in January. Twitch says the rollout right now is quite gradual, so don't be alarmed if you don't get the update just yet. The HTML5 changes for now only apply to the media controls. The underlying video is still in Flash. Twitch is hoping to have full HTML5 integration soon and asks everyone to stay tuned for updates. And a big update to Tuesday's story on the Electronic Sports League's Adderall scandal. Since the story broke on Tuesday, the ESL is now working with the National Anti-Doping Agent to develop an anti-doping policy that is fair feasible and respects the privacy of players. They hope to have it finalized by the next big tournament, which is next month in Germany. They also plan to start doing randomized drug tests then too. This first gained attention when one of the ex-members of Cloud9 admitted that their whole team has used Adderall in the past. ESL says that Cloud9 will not be punished as these allegations are coming a bit late and they have no real proof. Honestly, I think it's completely wrong to use anything to give you a leg up on the competition. And these guys are young and very influential. What kind of example are they setting for their young fans? I mean, they have millions of them. Let's just leave the prescriptions to the people who are prescribed to them. Yeah? Sorry, kind of went on the tangent there, but here's today's <laughs> lightning round. In cell phone news, we saw renders of the new Samsung Note 5 and S6 Edge Plus that were leaked, but this time around, both flagships have been seen in actual photos. Looks like LG is betting heavily on flexible OLED technology. The company plans on building a new factory in Korea dedicated to the new tech worth 1.05 trillion won, or 900 million US dollars. NASA has discovered a planet similar to Earth, the planet, Kepler-452b is roughly 60% larger than Earth with an estimated two times the gravity. And finally, Square Enix has announced release dates for Rise of the Tomb Raider for PC and PS4. If you recall, Xbox One will get it this holiday season, but PCs will get it early 2016, and people on PS4 will get the shaft. I mean, holiday of 2016. A full year. A full year! News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Down below. Speaking of floor sanders for hire, you know what might look really good on your nice shiny new floor? Products featured in NCIX's Christmas and July sale. These segues just keep getting worse. Anyways, the Canadian deal is a Steel Series WoW themed wireless MMO gaming mouse for $44. That's a whopping savings of $85. The American deal is an ADATA 2.5 inch external 1TB USB 3 hard drive for $54.99. That's a savings of $25. Click here or down in the description for all of this week's deals. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Just a friendly reminder that if you have any burning questions you want to ask us, use hashtag AskNCIX. And if you post said questions in the comments, they will count towards fans with benefits. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Oh, happy National Hot Dog Day. I'm gonna hop in my car and go to get myself a Costco hot dog. A lot of relish and ketchup, a little bit of mustard, some sauerkraut. One step ahead of you, Jack. You brought that from home. Yeah, I did. You're right. I really want a hot dog now. Thanks a lot, Keys. Bye. Bye.